issue of cross empowerment was discussed uh, even in the third meeting it was inconclusive and the discussions carried on they went on the whole day today what is exactly the issue of cross empowerment i'd like to explain to you you have multiple taxes at present either administered by the state government or by the central government which are now being integrated into one so all taxes the three of the important taxes are uh, the vat which is administered by the state government central excise which is administered by the central government service tax which is administered by the central government then some other smaller taxes which are administered by either now one of the objects of integrating these taxes is that there will be one tax across the country with one rate and each assessee will have to face only one assessing officer because if he has to go to multiple assessing officers the object of uh, gst will be defeated now this one assessing officer today we have uh, a huge manpower both in the central government and the state governments so all the state taxation officers have to administer the tax the central officers who are administering uh, excise and service tax will also have to administer so this is an administrative issue that functionally you can't have uh, two competing assessing authorities or more than two assessing authorities competing for the same assessee each trying to snatch that assessee into his own jurisdiction and therefore this situation is to be avoided and there have to be clearly defined guidelines as to who will assess whom now given this situation some members have even suggested that uh, eventually there has to be a federal bureaucracy created by converging the two bureaucracies but that's still a far cry that's not something that can happen immediately and that is why this becomes a very uh, important issue which has to be resolved you have multiple assessing officers two different sets of bureaucracies both administering one tax and you want to smoothen the situation now by making sure that the assessee faces only one officer and the assessment order that this one officer will pass whether he is an officer of the center or the state his office order will be binding on the other government also <coughs> this issue is extremely contentious because uh, the consequences of this have still to work themselves out and therefore what is important is that there is a cross empowerment coupled with defined jurisdictions cross empowerment means an officer in the state will assess everyone including for the purposes of central taxation when it converges into one and a central officer can assess similarly all the taxes a discussion spread over two days one day earlier and one day today has now led us to two different converging points of view and those two different converging points of view are 
हाउ टू डिवाइड द असेसी बेस इसका सिंपल लैंग्वेज में मतलब यह है कि कौन किसको असेस करेगा और यह पहले से ही तय हो जाए कि बाद में इसको लेकर कोई विवाद ना हो हाउ टू डिवाइड द असेसी बेस नाउ देर इज वन सजेशन दैट इट शुड बी डिवाइडेड हॉरिजोंटली एंड द रीजन इज दैट टूडे द वैट एग्जेम्शन लिमिट सम स्टेट हैव इज फाइव लैख सम स्टेट हैव इज टेन लैक्स सर्विस टैक्स असेसमेंट द थ्रेश होल्ड लिमिट बिगिन एट टेन लैक्स सेंट्रल एक्साइज बिगिन एट वन एंड हाफ करोड बट फॉर जीएसटी वी हैव केप्ट इट एट ट्वेंटी लैक्स एंड देर फोर द नंबर ऑफ असेसिज इट सेल्फ इन द इनिशियल स्टेजेस विल गेट रिड्यूस इन फैक्ट पॉपुलर कैलकुलेशन आर by fixing this 20 lakh uh, base you are only losing 2% of the revenue in some states they gave figures that it's actually loss of revenue of 1% or less so a bulk of the assessees who are not uh, revenue realizing assessees will go out the small assessees so one alternate view one view point which has been given is that you have a horizontal base cut off where 1 and a half crores can be the cut off base that is below 1 and 1/2 crore the states will look after and above that it will be divided between the center and the states the other is that the entire base could be vertically divided these are two formulations which have come the pros and cons of both the formulations have been discussed today now since it is uh, a very complex matter which is being resolved for the first time in this country we don't mm. want to rush through <coughs> with a final answer because the consequences of this are uh, unforeseen you can have neighboring shopkeepers being assessed by different authorities <coughs> uh, uh, and therefore what will be the consequences of that so all pros and cons have to be weighed so we've completed a substantial part of the discussion today various proposals came in fact there were five proposals initially the discussion is centered around these two principal proposals and uh, in order to resolve it we will have an informal meeting of the ministers why i'm saying informal meeting because it will be without uh, aids uh, and officers in order to find a political solution to this problem on the 20th of this month and we will try and thrash out uh, a solution on the 20th between these options or maybe a hybrid option of this but whatever option we have we don't want to take it in a hurry because uh, this has to be a well thought out solution uh, because administratively any mistake on this front could be chaotic uh, so we are uh, going slowly and systematically in this after this informal meeting that we have on the 20th of only the ministers we will have a council meeting on the 24th and 25th of this month jo meeting humne 9 aur 10 tarikh ko fix ki thi council ki wo humne abhi cancel ki hai isliye ki today is already the fourth and that meeting was intended for the draft uh, legislations now tomorrow onwards there are four drafts to be prepared it will be the cgst draft the sgst draft which will be similar the igst draft and the compensation law now these four drafts will be discussed by the officers from tomorrow onwards the officers will try and finish a discussion on these drafts and finalized all the drafts by the 14th or the 15th of this month say by the 15th of this month it will be sent to all the states and the states will be given one week's time to suggest any changes or improvement in those drafts or 24 or 25 tarikh ki meeting ko these drafts will be approved uh, will come up for approval before the gst council 
because the constitution amendment says that these uh, laws have to be passed by the central parliament and the state assemblies after they are approved by the GST council. So the parliament and the assemblies have to accept uh, what the council will pass. So 24th and 25th we will try and uh, approve these drafts. And whatever consensus we reach on the 19th, on the 20th. On, I'm sorry, on the 20th of this month, hopefully that we reach a consensus, that will also be handed over, uh, that also consensus will come up on the 24th uh, uh, for then ratification before the council itself. <laughs> That's where it stands at the moment.